Astral is undoubtedly one of the best teams in the world for the last year still don't have the results or the consistency that we all know they should be capable of. Towards the end of the ECS, Kirby, the rising new super talent of Denmark, replaced Cajun BN, in theory should offer the right kinds of tools the team needs to do better. Device Device has the capability to be a top 3 player in the world and sometimes he hits that peak. He is the main opera and carry for the team. Dupree Dupree is the entry specialist and when he's on he is very fearsome indeed. Sometimes able to win rounds by himself with those T-sided entries. It is pretty fun to watch I have to say. And uh, one thing you have to look out for is that deagle of his. Carrigan the in-game leader and a situational or secondary AWPer. Carrigan is the man with the plan. He's a part of the new breed that showed that the in-game leader can sometimes have the best performances in the tournament and sometimes that's needed. Being an in-game leader is no excuse for a lack of numbers. Zipex. Once upon a time he was on the hot seat, about to be kicked. But since then he has shown up repeatedly to be the best support player that Astralis could ask for. A very smart and clutch player who always tries to play a situation optimally and with discipline. Kirby The young gun, Kirby, has had absolutely astounding performances even when his past teams have been getting crushed. It seems his potential is really beginning to surface now he's become more confident on land. He will add consistent rifling which should take a lot of pressure off of his teammates, in particular allowing key players like Device and Dupree to really perform. Astralis are always very dangerous and have what it takes on the server to take titles, but off the server they seem to suffer from issues. Psychological issues have plagued Astralis in the past, and particularly at those playoff stages where they begin to get deep into a tournament. Is Kirby the mix-up, the answer that they need? Time will tell. With 7 wins and 1 loss, Astralis breezed through the online portion of the league, being the only team to do so in Europe. All but one of their results were convincing. Not quite the flashy dominance of Luminosity, but the only team that seemingly challenged Astralis were NIP. That said, Astralis have only recently just put Cobble into their map pool and this was one of the reasons NIP were able to win that best of three. Kirby is the player to watch. If this guy is performing, it's great to see. But it will also tell us that the integration is going well and by that notion, Astralis will have a great chance at a solid run. There isn't a team that Astralis match up poorly against. The only thing that can truly stand in their way is themselves. That psychological issue that has pained them in the past, if that is dealt with, the sky is the limit. The teams with weaker map pools like TSM and Cloud9, who are both teams who have recently had shakeups themselves in leadership and otherwise, they're really going to have problems against a diverse team like Astralis.